How's it going? So you got a better job elsewhere or you're simply sick of your current job that you want to call it quits. Whatever your reason, changing jobs nowadays is pretty normal. But personally, I think it's very important to leave your job on good terms because you'll never know who you'll cross paths with in the future. I have personally resigned twice in my career because I got a better job elsewhere. Some of them went pretty smooth and some of them in hindsight could have been handled a little bit better. In this video, I'll share with you how to resign from your job nicely and how to write a simple short and sweet resignation letter so you can quit without burning any bridges. So let's get started. So let's start with an overview of the resignation process. First, you got to decide if you really want to quit. Second, you gotta figure out what your notice period is. Third, get your resignation letter ready. Fourth, this is important, you actually have to talk to your supervisor in person about you wanting to resign. And lastly, you have to serve your notice period. Now, Office Politics 101, it might be a good idea to keep your intention to quit on the down low. It's not a good idea to tell anybody that you're planning to quit. So the first person that needs to know formally is definitely your supervisor. So don't tell anybody else. Now you might be wondering, what's the best excuse to tell my boss why I want to quit? And in my opinion, you can give whatever excuse you want to your boss as long as it's not negative. Personally, my go-to reason will always be I got a better job elsewhere. Why? Because it's most likely the truth. Think about it. Most people will not quit their job willy-nilly without having another job lined up for them. So this is telling the truth. All right, so now that you've decided that you really want to quit, so the next order of business is to know how long should you serve your notice period. So for most jobs, let's say you hand in your resignation to your boss today, it doesn't mean that you can stop working today. There's usually a notice period because the company needs some time to find your replacement. So from the point that you hand in your resignation letter to the point that you don't have to show up to work anymore, that is your notice period. Now this will depend from company to company, but typically it's around one month. Now how do you know how long is your notice period? So it's usually in your employment contract. So when you first got this job that you're trying to quit, the HR would typically send you an email of your employment contract. So go find that email and in that employment contract there should be a section in there that says termination notice or employment notice or something along those lines. Your notice period should be stated somewhere in there. So here's an example. Let's say this is your employment contract and here it says that you must serve one month notice in writing or one month salary in lieu of notice. So what that means is the day that you hand in your resignation letter, you still have to work for another one month or if the company really doesn't want you to be there for whatever reason, they can choose to let you not work anymore, but they'll pay you that one month instead. Now this will depends. Most companies probably wouldn't want to pay you for free, but maybe some companies, when they know that you're quitting, they don't want you to have access to their internal files or whatever. So this will really depends on the company. Okay, so now you've decided that you want to quit. You know your notice period. The next order of business is to actually write your resignation letter. Now a resignation letter shouldn't be complicated, shouldn't be this scary document. It's just a formality to let the company know that you are calling it quits. So let's keep it simple, avoid any negativity, and keep it emotionless. It's almost like you wanna break up with somebody. So your resignation letter should be addressed to your immediate supervisor and not the CEO. So here's an example of a resignation letter that I think is really short and sweet. Right up top, it's the title. What's the letter about? It's your name's resignation letter, the date, your boss's name, the department, the name of the company. And then just go straight to it. This letter is my formal resignation from the company, effective immediately. I will serve my one month notice period as stated in my employment contract. Therefore, my last working day will be whatever day that you calculated one month after the day that you hand in your letter. Before my departure, I will ensure smooth transition of my current tasks to my replacement. Thank you, you sign there, put your name, position, and uh, current company. Now notice how straight to the point, no negativity, emotionless, and professional this letter sounds. To me, it's perfect. If you need to download a Microsoft Word template, I'll leave the link in the description. Now, should you print this letter or not? Well, it depends. If I still physically work in the office, call me old fashioned, but I would still print the letter and give a physical letter to my supervisor. However, let's say you're working remotely, giving your supervisor a call or a Skype call at the very least would be courteous. All right, so now that you got your resignation letter ready and printed out, the next step is the most intense, talking to your supervisor in person. Now this is the scariest part, so much so that this one time I had a colleague of mine who don't like the job, and he wanted to quit, but he doesn't maybe have the balls to talk to the supervisor face to face. What he did was he wrote his resignation letter 
on a crummy piece of paper and just left that paper on his table and then he just went off. To me, I think that's really not cool. I think at the very least you can say, hey, thank you for you know the opportunity and they're still paying for your salary to the point that you leave. So I think that what he did was really not cool. So you have to meet your supervisor physically. If you work remotely, a phone call or a Skype call will be a bare minimum. This shouldn't take long, maybe five minutes, maybe less. Find a time where your supervisor is a little free and nobody's coming into the office and just go in there and go straight to the point. Hey, sorry, I got to do this, but I've accepted another job elsewhere. So here's my resignation letter. My last day will be so and so. So don't mention anything about your new job. Don't brag about it. Don't say anything negative about the company or your boss. Just keep it neutral, straight to the point. Next, see what your supervisor reacts. There's usually two ways this can go down. The first one, he or she could be trying to counter offer you. Maybe if you're doing a really good job, they might want to increase your salary, increase your benefits, try to make you stay. Or two, he or she could just be like, okay. So if it's the latter, then you can just hand in the resignation letter and then just keep on working, serving your notice period, just work as normal. However, what if your boss counter offers you? I think this is tricky. This is pretty tricky because it can be very tempting. But my personal take on this is to not accept the offer because I, I would find it a little offensive that now that I get another option, all of a sudden they, they can pay me more or I have better benefits all of a sudden. So I would remind myself why I wanted to quit in the first place and I would stick to my guns. That's my personal opinion. All right, now that you've handed in your resignation letter, your boss knows what's up, you have to serve your one month notice period in this example. So you just continue to work as normal until the very last day of that notice period. So in between, make sure you don't burn any bridges, be nice to everybody. Your boss will probably find somebody to replace you so you can help to get the new replacement warmed up with all your tasks that he or she has to take over. And on your last day, what usually I would do is I would go out for lunch with my colleagues, have a nice farewell lunch and say goodbye before I leave. So that's sharing you my experience on how to resign nicely from my experience and point of view. To recap everything, how to resign nicely, do's and don'ts. Do's, keep your resignation letter short and sweet. Don't write anything negative, personal or emotional. I don't think anybody really cares. Do's, you can print out your resignation letter. This is optional. If you want to print it, maybe it's not a good idea to print it at the office while everybody else is also printing other stuff. That's just common sense. Do meet with your supervisor in person and tell him that you want to resign. When you meet him, maybe it's not a good idea to say anything negative about the company or brag about your new job. The fourth do's is to honor your notice period as in your employment contract. If it's one month, it's one month. If it's two weeks, it's two weeks. If it's two months, it's two months. Don't leave your job without noticing your supervisor at least face to face or through the phone. And the last do's is always try to leave on a good note with everybody. Don't burn any bridges or get personal with anybody in my opinion because you'll never know who you'll cross path with in the future. So that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Bye.